Whenever you are ready, just lay on your mat and with your back on your mat. Press play on your playlist that is in the chat if you want to listen to some music and we'll get started. Close your eyes if it's available to you. If you feel the urge to keep on moving, perhaps find the opposite. Bring your hands on top of your hips with your fingers pointing down towards your feet. Take a nice inhale and let it go on your exhale. Every kind of thought that you are having today, acknowledge it and we'll get it, but then let it pass. Focus on your body. And for today specifically, we're going to be focusing on our lower back, but in order to do so, can you focus on your core a lot? A strong core, a strong front of our body will equal a strong back. Take one inhale that's all yours and let it all go. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold at the top for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom for four, three, two, one. Take a big inhale, that's all yours. And side on an exhale. Put your arms overhead, take any movements that you need today. Stretch, put your toes, Wiggle at your hips, wiggle your legs, anything that you need for your body today. On your next exhale, bring your hands beside your hips and bring your feet onto the mat. Uh, your feet, your heels are close to your bum. You're almost, almost as if you could reach um, with your fingers onto your heels. Leverage from the floor with the back of your arms. Take an inhale in center. And on your exhale, start to peel your tailbone off the ground, come up onto a bridge. Inhale at the top. And on your exhale, find your the top of your back melting one vertebrae down towards the ground. One vertebra at a time. Inhale at the bottom. 
and exhale to peel your tailbone. If this short stance by any means, like by any ways, like hurt your knees or you feel a lot of pressure, feel free to walk your feet a little bit farther apart. Melt your way all the way down to the ground. And one last time, inhale at the bottom and exhale to peel your tailbone off the ground. We're going to stay here for a bit. Bring your hands on top of your hip bones again. And notice how they're nice and flat at the top. Take a nice inhale in here. And on your exhale, let go of the strength of your glutes so that your tailbone hovers off the ground. Drop your tailbone down without touching the ground. And then press your hips towards the ceiling again. Inhale and flat. Exhale to drop your bum. Imagine there is that you're wearing jeans and that you have back pockets. Every time you press up towards the ceiling, your pockets come closer together. And every time you let go of the strength of your glutes, your, uh, your pockets come uh, far apart. Continue doing this for a few more breaths. Add your own timing. And the reason why your, arm, your hands are on your hips is so that you can tell the difference of your hips spiking or hinging and your flat hips. Next time you are at the top, melt your top uh, vertebrae down to the ground and come all the way down. Open your feet wide towards a uh, mat with distance and just gently swing your knees from side to side. Come back to center. And on your next exhale, hug your knees to your chest, bringing your arms around your shins and just gently pressing against your chest. Use the strength of your arms and do let your hips relax a little bit. Once again, you can either uh, swing from side to side or just stay still on pressing in center. Open your arms wide to the side and let go of your knees. Inhale in center. And on your exhale, drop your knees towards the right. Don't go all the way down to the ground. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale to drop your knees to the left. You don't need to go all the way down. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Come back to center and this time do let your knees drop all the way down to the right. And hold for a little twist. Take a couple of breaths in here. On your next inhale, Circle your left arm on the floor towards your head to join towards your other arm so you are on a almost fetal position. And then press against the ground and come up to a seated position. Swing your left leg back into a um, square bent knees into a 90 degree angle. Reach your right arm towards the ceiling and just side bend towards your left. Feel the gentle little stretch on the side of your body. Notice a little bit of an opening on your hips. Take a big inhale in here. And on your exhale, turn your shoulders down towards the ground, bring your hand down and make a big circle. Lower your upper body as far down as you want to so that you eventually roll onto your spine into the twist that you were at. Stay there. 
press against the ground with your hands. Inhale to bring your knees towards the center. And exhale to bring them all the way down to the other side. Couple of breaths in here. On your next inhale, circle your right arm up above your head to meet your left. Continue your circle so that you push on the ground and come to your seated four position. Inhale to reach your left arm up and side bend. Focus on sending breath to the opening side. Right now is your left side. On your inhale, twist your shoulders down to the ground, lower your hand down and keep, make a big circle all the way down in the ground until you find your twist. We'll do a couple, this one a couple more times but a lot faster. Inhale to come, bring your knees to center. Exhale to drop them to your right side. Inhale to circle your left arm and come to a seated position. Exhale to side bend. Your right arm is up to the ceiling, finding your side bend. Inhale to twist your shoulders down to the ground, keep on lengthening and exhale, Circle all the way down until you find your twist where you were at. Inhale to bring your knees to center. Exhale to drop them to the left. Inhale to circle your arm and come up to your seated position. Exhale to side bend. This time, come back to seated position and just swing your legs until you find a tabletop. Cats and cows. Once again, we are focusing on hips today. So make your hips the leader of this movement. On your inhale, let your belly drop your tailbone point forward and then your spine ripple until you look up to the ceiling for your cow position. And on your exhale, start by tucking your tailbone in, puffing the back of your sacrum, tucking your belly and looking down for your cat. Continue to do this at least a couple more times at your own timing. And go as slowly as you need it. Take any other shapes or movements that you need. We can make circles with your hips, only your hips, or you can involve your whole body. If you are making circles, reverse your direction. The next time, once you're done with that, the next time you're in center, walk your hands just as slightly forward for a little bit of a bigger version of cats and cows. Inhale to bring your hips forward. Look up towards the ceiling and exhale to hinge at your hips, sit on your child's pose. Inhale to come forward. Once again, let your hips be the leader of the movement. The last thing that gets there is your head and exhale to hinge. One last time. Inhale, come up. This time, stay here. Bend at your elbows and lower yourself all the way to the ground. 
three baby cobras with your hands outside of the mat, tented like a spider of a cupcake. Inhale to come up. And exhale to flow down. Keep your hip bones attached to the ground, your tailbone relaxed down. Inhale, come up. Feel free to stretch your elbows and put a little bit more work on those arms. Exhale to come down. Inhale, one last time. Exhale to stay here. Bring your hands towards your center, your forearms down and find your sphinx pose. Make sure um, that the back of your neck is long and that the bottom of your abs, your lower abs are off the ground. A couple of breaths in here. Watch out that you are not sinking down on the ground. You want to be engaged so that you can protect your lower back. On your next inhale, pivot on your elbows so that your arms can open a little bit out towards the corner and stretch your arms as much as you can. Once again, keep your core engaged so that you're protecting your lower back. And on your next exhale, look down towards your right heel. Inhale to come through center. Exhale to look down towards your left heel. One more time, each side, inhale, center. Exhale, look towards your right. Feel free to bend one elbow to leverage from the floor. Come to center. And look to the other side. Come back into your sphinx. Bend at your elbows. Bring your hands in. Take a big inhale in here. And on your exhale, lower yourself all the way to the ground. Inhale to stretch your arms overhead. Float them off the ground and exhale to circle your hands down to your hips, float your forehead off the ground. Inhale into Sphinx. Exhale to lower down to the ground. Inhale to float off the ground and circle your arms towards your hips. Come into your sphinx, lower to the ground. Inhale to lift and circle. And exhale to your sphinx. Float everything down to the ground, tuck your back toes under and press yourself into a downward facing dog. Take tiny little steps, wiggle your hips. Do anything that you need to. And eventually take tiny little steps to the front of your mat. Meet me on a passive forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. Take whatever grip that you need to. Perhaps this time, step into your hands and let um, your feet massage the mount of your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Relax your head, maybe uh, shake your head yes and no. And when you're ready, let go of whatever grip you had Tug your tailbone down and slowly roll up to standing. Take a big inhale to roll your shoulders up. And sigh, open your mouth, exhale. Inhale to reach up towards the ceiling. Do find a little bit of a back bend. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to put your hands down, step into your plank. Optional variation of knees down to the ground or not. Inhale in here on plank or knees and exhale to lower all the way down to the ground. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. 
downward facing dog. Reach out with your right leg towards the ceiling and bend your knee, open your hips to the side. Come back down. Reach with your left leg, bend your knee and open your hips to the side. Come back down and take tiny little steps to the front of your mat. Roll all the way up. Inhale to reach up through the ceiling with a little back bend. Exhale to hinge. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to put your hands down, step into your plank. Inhale in here. Exhale to lower. Baby cobra, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale to reach. And exhale to lower. Left leg goes up to the ceiling on your inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to reach. Exhale to lower. Come up to your toes, look to the front of your mat, bend at your knees and hop, step or walk. Roll all the way up to standing. Last on salutation, inhale, reach up to the ceiling with a little bit of a back bend. Exhale to hinge. Halfway lift. Exhale to plank. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Come down to the ground or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. Downward facing dog. Look to the front of your mat, bend at your knees and hop, step or walk. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to put your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, but with a standing split, reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale to bring your knee to your nose. Inhale to reach up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale to reach up. This time, bring your knee not to your nose, but to the ground. Sit down on the mat. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling and find your seated twist. Take some time to lengthen your spine before you even twist. Make sure that you're lengthening your spine and not only your spine, but also the front of your body, which is your abs. Come back to center and grab your front leg as if it were a baby. You want your knee to be resting on inside of your elbow and uh, the, other, the foot on the other elbow. Just give it a nice little swing. Just rock your baby from side to side and you're correct. You can also bring your hands underneath your leg if that is more available to you. Whenever you're ready, let that leg go and circle it back until you find your pigeon pose. Couple of breaths in here. You can stay up in here or go down into your pigeon. You can find stillness or just a gentle rock from side to side. Wow, there's a lot of dog today. <laughs> when you're ready, come up out of your uh, pigeon. Tuck your back toes under. Transfer your weight all the way to your hands and kick your right leg up to the ceiling for three-legged dog. Bring your hands, in, uh, your feet in between your hands and lower your back knee to the ground. 
come up into your lunge. Inhale to reach your left arm up to the ceiling and exhale to find your side bend. You can have your right hand on top of your knee or inside of your knee for more leverage. On your next inhale, twist your shoulders down to the ground and bring your left elbow on the side, on, on the outside of your right knee for a kneeling twist. When you're ready, lift your back knee off the ground. And come up into a twisted lunge. Inhale to reverse your twist. And exhale to open up to warrior two. Open your hips to the opposite side. Yeah, take a couple of breaths in here. Inhale to bring your back arm down to your leg and reverse your warrior. Exhale to stretch your front leg and find a little bit more depth in your reverse. Come through center, hinge at your hips and find your triangle pose. Couple of breaths in here. You can heel toe your back foot to make your stance a little bit shorter if that is more comfortable to you. And when you are ready, circle your top arm down to the ground, frame your foot. Inhale into a little bit of a pyramid pose and exhale to come onto your plank. Inhale in here. Exhale for Chaturanga or all the way down to the ground. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Up to the front of your mat, bend at your knees and hop, step or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to lower. Put your hands on the ground, reach your left leg up towards the ceiling for standing splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, halfway lift with a standing splits. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach long one last time. And this time, bring your knee down to the ground. Sit on your bum. And find a, a seated position. Inhale to reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale to circle it back. Find your twist. Couple of breaths in here. Do focus on sending your breath down towards your spine. With every inhale, your oxygen goes down towards your every limb of your body and it, with every exhale, it just comes back up. Grab a hold of your front leg, whether it's uh, hugging it like a baby or underneath your shin and just give it a gentle rock from side to side. Do acknowledge which, which side feels funner or gentler. And um, do notice where or why or when does it feel sticky? Does it feel bumpy, stuck, stiff? When you are ready, let go of that leg and let it circle back until you find your pigeon pose. To make sure that both hip bones are looking down to the ground or more like the, the both of them are parallel. It doesn't really matter if they're looking down to the ground, but do try to make your hip bones parallel. Either stay here or all go all the way down to the ground.
feel like today is a little bit more of a slower paced class. But um, for those of you who get cramps and PMS and lower back um, pain, this is the reason why I created today's class. <laughs> When you are ready, come out of your pigeon. Tuck your back toes. Transfer your weight all the way to your hands and swing your left leg up to the ceiling for a three-legged dog. Bring your foot in between your hands and tap your back knee down to the ground. Come up to your lunge and reach your right arm up to the ceiling, finding your side bend. Do make sure that you're engaging your back glute. If need it be, and if it feels good for your body, you can go farther down into your lunge if that feels safe to you. I personally think that both of them have the same uh, effect. On your inhale, twist your shoulders down to the ground and bend your right elbow to meet your left knee. For a twisted prayer. When you're ready, lift your back knee off the ground. Come up out of your lunge. Inhale to reverse. And exhale to open up to warrior two. Couple of breaths in here. Wow, why is the dog in here today? I'm surprised that she's not sleeping. <laughs> Inhale to bring your right arm down to your leg and reverse your warrior. Exhale to stretch your front knee and just find a little bit of a deeper side bend. Come back through center and hinge at your hips, swinging forward for triangle pose or trikonasana. Once again, if, um, if you need to heel toe your back foot for a little bit of a shorter stance. On your next inhale, circle your top arm down to the ground. And this, and find your tri um, pyramid pose before you go into your plank. Inhale on your plank. And exhale for Chaturanga Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet and your hands to the center of your mat. Open your feet wide, mat with distance and sit your hips low for Malasana Yogi Squat. Bring your hands at your heart center. And breathe in here. On your next inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Open your left arm and find a little bit of a twist. Opening your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Breathe through your hips. And come back to center. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, open your left arm up towards the ceiling. <laughs> Come back to center. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to stretch your legs, 
press all the way to standing, bring your feet close to each other, arms by your side. Wow, we do have a guest today. Inhale to reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Actually, I'm gonna do it with the, with the other side. Let's reach your right arm up to the ceiling and your left hand, it's beside your hips facing um, the ceiling. Bend your left knee and make sure that you keep both knees together. Reach for your foot. And before we start going anywhere else, you want your knee to go far down, press down with your knee, and then you can start lengthening back for dancer's pose. Keep the contact of your hand and your foot pressing once again, one against the other. Find, con find the containment on your abs and on your core to protect your lower back. Once you've had enough of this, without, listen carefully, without letting go of your foot, find your way to uh, tree pose. Whatever your body needs to do to find your way into tree pose and bring your hands onto your heart. A couple of breaths in here. Close your eyes if that is available to you. You can open your branches up to the ceiling and wide apart. You can find a reverse prayer behind your back. Any variation of all of this. When you're ready, bring your knee to face the front and step your feet back together. Give it a nice little shake. And let's get ready for the other side. Inhale to reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Your right arm is on the side like you're holding a tray. Bend your right knee and reach for your right foot. Once again, feel how your knee it's going down towards the ground before it starts going out into dancer's pose. Take any, any kind of pose, take it as a um, continuous moving, movement. With every inhale you lengthen and with every exhale you find a little bit more depth. Inhale. And exhale. Once you've had enough, without letting go of your foot, find your tree pose. Bring your hands into your heart. Close your eyes. Remember to not press beside your knee. When you are ready, bring your knee to the front and step your feet together. Just give it a nice little shake and step at the front of your mat. Take three vinyasa flows at your own timing, three sun salutations. I'll do the first one. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to hinge. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale to hop, step or walk into your chaturanga or all the way down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take your time and do this two more times. Once you are done with your salutations, leave me on a child's pose.
Don't forget to coordinate your breath with your movements, whatever your movement looks like. Once you're done, meet me on a child's pose. If possible, and if it's accessible to you, keep your knees together for this child's pose. On your next inhale, walk your hands to the right side of your mat for a little bit of a twist. I mean, side bend. back to center and walk your hands to the other side. Walk your hands to center and come into hands and knees. Inhale to reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale to tread it underneath your left. Bring your shoulder down to the ground, your head, your ear. You can stay here or you can bring your left hand up until your sacrum. Or stretch up to the ceiling. Come back to center and come to your tabletop. Inhale to reach your left hand up and tread it underneath your right. Come back to your center and sit your hips on your heels. Bring your hands onto your legs. And just for a couple, a few cats and cows in here. Inhale to reach up towards the ceiling, opening your chest, finding that arch in your back. And on your exhale, tuck your tailbone under, start rippling through your spine until you look down towards your chest. Inhale for your cow. And exhale for your cow. Come back to center. You can stay here or you can come up to a kneeling position. Either way, bring your hands behind your back. Let your uh, pinky fingers touch and begin to find your expression of camel pose. Lengthen the whole front of your body, start to look up towards the ceiling. Lengthening the front of your hips. And once you had enough, 
Tug your chin to your chest, sit your hips on your heels, and let your legs swing forward. Scooch to the front, um, to the middle of your mat. And lay down on your back. Bring your right knee on top of your left. And instead of going for our regular thread the needle, bring your knees to your chest and grab for your feet. Yeah, hold in here. Doesn't really matter what this shape looks like for you. Notice the opening of one of the hips, the top hip, wherever you are. And once again, try, try to use your, the strength of your arms, a little bit more of whatever is happening in your hips, trying to release any tension of your hips. Let go of the grip of your feet and just rock your knees towards the left into a twist. Unravel your legs by stretching them however they want and then roll onto your back. Give a little wiggle onto your hips, maybe rock your toes from side to side and eventually bring your feet back onto the mat. To the other side, bringing your left knee on top of your right knees onto your chest and then grab for your feet, reach for your feet. This might feel completely different from the other side and that is okay. In fact, that is very normal. Let go of your grip and rock your knees to the right for a twist. Unravel your legs and just roll back to your back, on your back. Wiggle your feet one last time and choose whatever um, final resting pose you wanna try today. You can bring the soles of your feet together for Sutta Bhada Konasana on Recline Butterfly. You can bring your legs onto the wall or onto your couch or into your chair, anything that you have nearby. Or you can just find Shavasana.
for your final resting pose. Take one big inhale where you are and open your mouth, sigh, exhale. Take one big inhale, flutter your lips. One last inhale, open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Let go over your control of your breath. And if you want to go into Shavasana, if you're not already there, go for it. But know that you can always sustain whatever you choose for your final resting pose to be. for today's card, it reads, it's about connection. I am connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather related stuff. Thank you everyone for being here today. Thank you for letting me guide you through your practice. Namaste.